guys, we are back and today we are taking a Black Hawk to where? Port Irwin with the Army. With the Army. The U.S. Army is going to take us for the day and show us what it's really like to be a soldier. We got her at 6 a.m. Sun's coming up. Sunrise! Let's go hit it. <laughs> Let's do it. And at this time, I'd like for you to take a look at your name chalk tube from Jackson. Chalk fill. Okay. Chalk fill. Myself. Hi, Demi. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Philip. Demi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, please take all commands from us. We're the uh, guys getting you in and out of the aircraft, right? Flight route is going to be about an hour. We're going to go around the Hollywood sign, right, sir, still. We're also going to go over the Rose Bowl and we'll let you guys know when we are over it. And we're going to head up to Fort Irwin that way. We are about to board the chopper. You're on the move. We're on the move. Let's go! Let's go! I'm so excited. Today's going to be an amazing day. Welcome to NTC in Fort Irwin. You get a little more guidance about what we're yep. going to be doing. This is called Paint a Rock. Yeah. Remember, we're kind of briefly, Alexander yeah. the Great used to paint over the rocks of the yeah, cities he conquered. And, and so each little rotational unit will oh, paint exactly. over their patch when they come here That's after awesome. they finish their rotation. Just got off the chopper now, getting on the bus and seeing where life takes us today. We don't really know what we're getting into, but we're definitely ready for it. Command Sergeant Major Low. Woo! Woo! Also on the right here, you have uh, my headquarters, as well as Command Sergeant Major Fedorson. This is where we live and play. We are out here in the Mojave Desert, about to get a group photo, then we're going to get some camis on and train. I'm ready for this. I'm excited to see where today goes, so stay tuned. Yes. Alright guys, we just finished our briefing, now time to head down to Rajiz and do some hands-on training. They're going to take us through the sites, the sounds of war, take us through some buildings, they're going to give us a little demonstration. We're going to be soldiers today, I'm excited, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Being feel and give an extra layer of contextual realism to the fight. In our additional loudspeakers, there are two cameras mounted in either corner of the building. These cameras beam back live footage and standard night and thermal imaging to the Newick, the National Urban Warfare Center, the building you just left in real time. And why do we do this? First and foremost, the safety. Commanders and OCTs, observer coach trainers sitting up at the Newick can see what's going on in the city of Rizish in real time. If they don't like what's going on, things are getting a little unsafe, a little out of hand, they have the ability to call halt over these PA systems, suspending operations in either a single building or the entire town. All right, guys, we are about to go into an underground tunnel. They like to use these assimilations to make sure that in any scenario that they're in, this is always a capability. You know, wherever they are, underground tunnels are definitely something that could happen. So they like to put that in each scenario that they're training with. So we're about to go down and check them out and end up in another building. This is the first building they put us in. It's interesting hearing them talk about it. One of the main things they mentioned that a small force occupying this one building can use a tunnel system to occupy another building basically simulating a much larger force. So we're going to go check out that tunnel and see what the enemy does so we can be smarter than the enemy. What he said. <laughs> you guys want to say any last words before you drop into a random hole? I'm about to go in this tunnel. I'm going to clear it right now. Make sure there's no more bad guys in there. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, man. Down we go. Doing good, sir. Doing good. Thank you, thank you. Hey, we're going in. We are officially in the underground right here. 
in the tunnel system, and just got really dark. <laughs> so just listen to our voices. Oh, you guys look so sick, though. We have just come up into an enemy bunker. Smoke bombs going off everywhere. There could be any enemies anywhere. Look, you guys can't even see it, but there's a hole right there. And imagine just falling in there. Imagine oh, training! That's the point. Here at the National Training Center, we literally bring the fog of war to the battlefield. Why do we do this? Because the United States Army prides itself on the fact that it owns the night. Through its excellent training, as well as widespread use of night vision devices or NVDs, American forces typically have a decisive advantage in low light engagements, whether that means fighting at night or in a dimly lit building like the one we're in right now. Woo! No, we made it! We made it. Wow. I Look. can see! Almost couldn't find my way out. I Demi, lost Demi has really good vision, so she This is the heart of the city here in Mizzou. You're gonna buy something here. This is the place you do it. Look how real this looks. This is crazy. Look what we're walking into. Uh, <laughs> You guys are gonna buy one? This is crazy! Look at this guy! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! You don't want any? The lady said, hola! I was like, our mission here at 11th Army Cavalry Regiment and the Black Horse is to provide a professional and lethal opposing force that trains U.S. Brigade combat teams to ensure that they are ready now to win that first fight. We want to make sure that we provide the rotational training unit with the hardest fight here in the desert, in the Mojave Desert and the National Training Center. Something that I want everyone to keep in mind, what you're going to witness today is an exercise that we replicate with 30 soldiers. By the Bill of Savar Freedom Brigade, secured a helicopter landing zone known as HLC, which is marked by the violet smoke. The medevac has arrived, and the soldiers will now carry the casualty onto the aircraft, while the remainder of the platoon provides security. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. We just got an amazing debriefing of what just took place and what each team could learn from that experience. Now, what is we're gonna go What's inside and have a meal ready to eat, which I'm sure you know stands for MRE. <laughs> so, check it out. We'll see how it goes. It looks way sicker with us walking with the, the, the greenies. The greenies. All right, we got fettuccine. Fettuccine. Right, what do we got? Spinach fettuccine. That sounds good. So the rule is you just stick your hand in and grab one, and then you don't get a picker flavor. We got our MREs right here. I got beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack. What'd you get? I got elbow macaroni and tomato sauce. Spaghetti with beef and something. Uh, and sauce. Yes. OK, yes. cool. I got skills in my MRE. That's all I want to eat. I don't even need the rest of this. I got Reese's. All right, I got ketchup, mustard. I got beef patty. This heats your food, and okay. this, this is if you want to drink your hot beverage. This gum. is condiments. Yeah. So you have like a little towelette in there, toilet paper, like just different sundry items in there. Okay, so the eat is just this with tortilla. Yes. Okay. But yours is cooking? Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, hold on. Wait, we're getting there. Water. Ouch. Oh, that that so the water activates the heating. Oh, the Three or four minutes till so it's hot and eat it. I'm just stealing my food. Thank you. Oh, mine's good. Thanks so much for the hub, you guys. Really, really That's actually pretty good. It tastes like Chef Ordi, huh? I like pasta. This low carb diet really makes you just crave anything pasta. <laughs> this is what it looks like the MRE. The MRE. It just looks like a Chef Boyardee. This is what it looks like. This is elbow macaroni. It tastes like Chef Boyardee. It's actually really good. All right, I'm making my patty. <laughs> I can't open this. So does the cheese. All right, we got like cheesy bacon. bacon. We call it bounty mode. Let's go. Just pretty much just pre frosting. That's all we're doing is doing all these This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
nice and full from those amazing MRE lunches. How are you feeling? Really good. Had a nice little uh, pasta dish. Feeling, feeling great. How you feeling? I'm full. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely pretty full, but right now we're about to get geared up and we're ready for action. This is the moment right here. We saw them do it. They talked us through it. Now we're going to go get after it. We're going to go ahead and don the equipment. We're going to go outside. We're going to show you guys how to actually use the weapon, do some ready up drills. Then you guys are going to learn how to clear the buildings over there. And then at the end of it, you guys are going to throw smoke, run through there, kick in doors, kill the bad guy that's in there, all right? So we're not over here. This alone is probably about 35 pounds. Yeah, it's not light. So just imagine now you're putting all your ammo in there, your grenades, everything else. How are you feeling, Demi? I'm great. Loading up my mags. My chin doesn't fit in there. We have big heads from the last video. <laughs> So what you're gonna do is so the safety Yep. Alright, you are <laughs> Oh there's an auto on this one too. Alright guys, we're geared up. We're ready. Have eyes on the door. Call it the freaker. And any one of you, doesn't matter, you kinda of figure that out before would come up. But whichever one wants to kick the door. So I say breacher and then she kicks it. Yep, yep. And then first you would physically check if there were any like IEDs, any trip wires, whatever like that. Clear, you kick the door, and once you kick, once you kick the door, either you can go in. It doesn't really matter. But the main thing is, just go the opposite direction of the person in front of you. So if you go in to the left, you go in to the right, and then you would go in left and right. So it's just okay. Breach. Come up. Check for wires. There go. Up the walls. Opposite. There. Much fun. And four smoke grenades did had, it all. Yeah, we had everything. Uh, Debbie, Hi, Debbie, nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, I, I actually follow you. Oh, no oh, way. <laughs> um, so I'm Corporal Inahosa. This is my NCO, Sorry, Finn. Here we go. 7.62 pig. Let's get it. I don't know if you just heard that. Apparently, this weapon can tear apart a Hummer if you're not firing blanks. We are firing blanks. Hey. I decided to go ahead and link some more rounds because I know you guys want to put it on Instagram and Snapchat. <laughs> YouTube it all, whatever the case may be. So, for safety precautions as well, too, uh, you're going to take that one part that's not sticky. Basically roll it, go grab your ear, lift up, stick it into your ear, and then close the ear Roll down. like that? What's going to happen is that it's like a foam, so basically it's going to expand into your ear, so that way it doesn't move around and stuff like that. Yeah. Right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Perfect. So you're going to pick the weapon up and bring it onto your coat. Now on your free hand, you can go ahead and place it onto this buttstock right here. So what you're going to do is put your head to the side on your shooting eye, and you'll basically look down range. You're going to go ahead and cock the weapon back now. Weapon is in all packed. It is on fire. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and fire. <laughs> Thanks, man. No problem. No problem. Uh, Mr. Madison, would yeah. you like to step up? Here we go. Push it forward. Uh, you're loaded. It's on fire. Here we go. Squeeze for three, like two. Oh, That's 40, 50 rounds? Yeah. That's so uh, awesome. Kristen, are you ready? Yes. Fire one ready. That's big haze in the paint. Woo! Yes. Oh, stop, stop. Amazing. Oh. Thing of beauty. That's it. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Of course, guys. Of course. You made it too easy. Oh, of course. Am I gonna be in the vlog? Yeah, yeah, you see what's going on? Oh, oh yeah, man. You're on the vlog. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for your thank service. You. No, You're no. Thank you for your support. Wow. Thank, you, thank you so much. Thank you. We're about to shoot the 50. A real shoot. The real shoot. shoot. Okay. If you're not shooting bullets that are this big and cost a hundred dollars each, you're not shooting. Okay, hold it for like five seconds. Are you ready to fire? Hit it.
<laughs> All right, last one. Last gun of the day. Best gun of the last day. Best of the crew of the day. All right, I'm here with Corker. What do you got to say to your fam? Hey, what's good, my dudes? What's good, pops? I'm going to be on here. Just look for me. <laughs> Saying hi to the fam. Thank you for your service. Uh -huh. We have the last station, the big boy, 50 cow. <laughs> all right. We have the last set of rounds that's saved that we can have you go down there now and expend all those rounds and have some more fun. He wants us to light it up till we're done. Light it up. All right, let's do it. Let's load it out there. Let's do it. So Demi is going to show you the definition of lighting it up. Watch how much this gun shakes you. All right, my man right here just showed us how to use the 50. So did he. He's awesome. We got some stuff to say. Let's hear it. What's going on, man? Specialist Clark, man. Welcome to NCC, man. You know? Yeah, Specialist Cole over here. What's up? <laughs> hey. Thank you guys for your service. Thank you, guys. No Appreciate no it. No oh, the gloves oh, okay, coming okay. off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Shooting was awesome. It was great. We We're not going to hear anything <laughs> when the gun's going off. Now, time to check out some on these. You're going to meet some new guys. Woo! Got it. So, yeah. You, uh... M1 Abrams! That was totally nerdy. <laughs> yeah, that's not making the cut. <laughs> oh my. Are you filming this? Yes, of course I'm filming this. Oh, this is really tight. If you were uh, claustrophobic, you would not like it. And you'd be having a bad day. This is awesome. Girl. Oh, whoa, it goes like up. I know, you're like lay down. I can't reach the pedals! This is kind of comfy! I can Yeah, imagine this. 16 hours. Pretty sure that is the end of our day. I don't think there's anything left that we could possibly do because we pretty much slayed it. And we cleared rooms, shot guns, played on the tanks. What am I missing? We did everything. We ate MREs. We ate MREs! MREs. <laughs> How did I forget that? A phone! That six pack's Good gone! <laughs> Thank you so much, U.S. Army, for having us today. You guys are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your service yeah, to you guys you service. Thank and you guys. all of our first responders. We love you guys. You guys mean the world to us, so we really appreciate you. Sending you lots of love if you're seeing this. Yeah, thank you, Army. Awesome day. Really appreciate it. We're about to hop back on the Black Hawk and go back home yep. and go to the gym. Yes, yes, four. Daddy, hey, <laughs> yay. <laughs> so thank you all for taking the time today to come out here and spend it with us and see your Army. I'm gonna come by uh, one at a time and hand these to you, and when you get one, you're gonna take it. You're gonna step up here, you're gonna state your name, say what you do, and say, I'm a black horse trooper, and they're gonna respond with, you're the finest in the land. <laughs> How's that sound? I'm Scott Matheson, I'm a fitness trainer, and I'm a black horse right. trooper. The finest in the land! All right. My name is Demi Bagby, I am also a fitness trainer, and I'm a black horse trooper. The finest in the land! <laughs> Okay. Look, I like how she just stands still. <laughs> and her glasses are almost falling off. You got it. Yeah. How much more do you have in the tank, you think? Did we start already? Oh, oh you oh. Oh. <laughs> So savage. What an amazing, fun, eventful day here with the U.S. Army. What did you think about it? I thought it was awesome. We did everything. I loved all the tactics, loved all the shooting. I'm kind of sad that it was only one day. Sad we have to leave. I, know, I, feel like I mean, not enough. too sad because we get a, this is our ride. True. You know? All right, guys, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what other training we should try out because we're definitely ready to kick some ass. So let's do it. Let's do it. Out of here.